Hey, I'm Gaish Kolnik. In this video, I'm going to show you the tonic diminished scale. Now, diminished scales in general tend to confuse musicians, especially when they are taught as patterns of half step, whole step, or whole step, half step. But I think if you understand the two basic components that make a diminished scale, then it's much easier. So the two things that make a diminished scale are one, a diminished seventh chord, like this one, B diminished seventh chord with B, D, F and A flat. And the second one is the addition of approach tones a half step below each one of the chord tones, like A sharp below the B, the C sharp below the D, E below the F and G below the A flat. This is the diminished scale. Now there are two kinds of diminished scales. There is the dominant diminished scale. I made a special video about that one. Uh, it's in the description below. And the second one is the tonic diminished scale. So a typical way to play the tonic diminished scale is to play it along with a tonic, like that. Starting with a tonic. The diminished tonic. Diminished tonic. Diminished So here are the three steps of getting to the tonic diminished scale. Step one, we start from the triad C major with the notes C, E, G, one, three, five in the scale of C major. Then we move the three and the five, the E and the G, a half step below to their lower neighbors. And we get a C diminished so step two, we extend the triad into a diminished seventh chord. We just add another minor third to the diminished triad. We'll call this note A instead of double flatted B. It's easier. So we get a C diminished seventh chord, C, E flat, G flat, A. Step three, we add approach tones a half step below each one of our chord tones. So B below the C, D below the E flat, F below the G flat, and G sharp below the A. The last thing to consider is if we played it with the typical eight notes, which gets to be on the first strong eight? Is it one of the chord tone, like and one and two and three and four and one? Or is it one of the approach tone, creating a dissonance with the chord? So I hope you find this video helpful. If you want to watch more videos like this one, you're welcome to subscribe, leave comments, and of course, ask questions. And I'll be seeing you in the next videos.